Hi guys, Ryan here with River Rescue Dynamics with another Just a Tip Tuesday. Uh, today I want to talk to you about spare oars and their placement. I personally have broken two oars uh, in the 10 years of rafting that I've been doing. And um, two were different incidences. One was in the Gunnison Gorge uh, going through the squeeze um, rapid. where we actually broadsided a rock. Um, believe it or not, we took this boat down there, which most people will tell you is not a good idea to try and squeeze a 16-foot cat down the Gunnison Gorge. Circumstances led to that we had to take the boat, so we did what we did. Uh, turns out we broadsided a rock, about pinned ourselves, but we broke our oar in the meantime. So that's one story. Another story that I have personally of breaking an oar is in Westwater Canyon, just west of Grand Junction here. Um, Surprise Rapid is a rapid right above Skull Rapid. And Skull Rapid is pretty commonly known as the, the scary biggest rapid in that canyon. And uh, we were just setting ourselves up, getting ready to pull, and my oar, um, composite oar, actually broke right right here at, at the oarlock. And so having quick access to my spare was was paramount because you want to have complete control going through skull. Otherwise, if you go through sideways or go over the rock itself, um, things are gonna be bad for you. So one of the things that I like to do for my spare oars is, I, I only run one spare oar on here. Running two, it's, it's up to you. Typically, if you're breaking two oars in one trip, um, you're probably, doing something wrong and might want to rethink where you're at and what's going on. But I run one, one, one spare oar and the way I like to set it up is I actually set it up with the oar blade backwards. Okay. And the reason I like to do that is because I set a cam strap here and a cam strap up here that's above the oar stop on my oar. That way if I'm sitting here rowing, if I have somebody in my boat that takes a swim is not in the boat or they're not able to help me replace my or, or grab my spare oar, I want to be able to basically do this by myself. So from the rower seat, I want to be able to get to my oar, undo one strap, pull the oar straight out and get it into action here. Okay. I don't want to have to mess with um, two two cam straps, you know, unlocking this one, unlocking that one. I don't want to have to move it forward away from me. I want to be able to basically be in one spot, pull that spare oar back, get it into action, get through whatever I need to get through, whatever rapid, whatever situation is, grab an eddy, and, and then figure out what I'm going to do for an oar after that point, or what happened to our original oar. So uh, just one of the things that I like to do, just another quick little tip for Just a Tip Tuesday. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you guys are finding these useful. And stay tuned, subscribe to our channel, try and help uh, get some likes and get us out there and we'll get some more good, good content coming your way. Thank you very much.